Okay, for class 8, the new topic is simple interest. In this one, let's say there is a businessman named A. He invests 10,000 rupees in buying books. Again, he sells the books later at a price of 12,000. So we can see that he is earning a profit of 2,000 rupees. That is 12,000 rupees, which is the selling price, minus 10,000 rupees, which he has invested. So this 2,000 is the profit which he is making. Now we need to understand this concept to understand simple interest. Again, let's say there is another person, a friend of businessman A, the name is, let's say, B. He wants to borrow money from A, that is he wants to borrow 10,000 rupees from A for a period of time, one year. But before lending to B, A will think that if he had invested the money in buying books, he would earn a profit of 2,000 rupees. He would not simply give 10,000 rupees to B. Had he invested the money in buying books, he would earn 2,000 rupees. So, if B can repay 12,000 later, that is, B is borrowing 10,000 rupees from A, and if B is able to repay 2,000 rupees extra, that is 12,000 rupees, then only A would agree to lend it to B. So this 2,000 rupees So this extra 2,000 rupees charged It is the cost of borrowing This 2,000 rupees is the cost of borrowing Which is called interest So this is the introduction for simple interest the cost of borrowing is called interest. So we can see a cycle here. A, he is giving 10,000 rupees to B. This 10,000, this sum is the principal. That is the sum borrowed or lent. This 10,000 rupees is going to B and while B is repaying back to A, he has to add something extra. 2,000. This is the cost of borrowing. And in total, 10,000 plus 2,000, this is called the amount, which needs to be paid back to A. So the formula is amount is equal to principal plus interest. Principal is the sum which was borrowed plus I here, this is the cost of borrowing. So total money paid back to A is the amount. Now we come to the main formula for simple interest. The so simple interest is equal to PRT by 100. So P is the principal. This is the sum of money, money borrowed or lent. R is the rate of interest. T is time period for how many years it has been lent or borrowed. So R here, rate of interest, is basically in per annum. That is the rate of interest is calculated annually and the time period is usually given in years. So if the time period is not given in years, if it's given in months, we will be doing a few examples. If it's given in months, let's say the time period is given in 24 months, what we need to do is we need to change this time period into number of years. That is, if it's given in months, we need to divide this 24 by 12. So it becomes 2 years. So try to change whatever time period is given into years. That is, we need to divide it by 12. Now, let's say the principal 
is given 7,000. The rate of interest is 10% per annum. And the time period is given as 2 years. Now we have to substitute these values in the formula for simple interest. That is PRT by 100. So the principal is given as 7000. Then, so the gap here, it means it's multiplication. Please do not get confused. This is 7000. The rate of interest is given as 10%. So you need not look at this percentage sign. You can simply write 10 into the time period is given in years like I have said. This is a simple sum. So you just replace substitute 2 divided by 100. So you can cancel out these two zeros. It becomes 700 into 2 that is 1400. So this 1400 is the cost of borrowing. This is the interest which is charged on this 7000. This is the principal. So if you are to find the amount, the formula for amount is principal plus interest. So what is the principal here? It's 7000 plus the interest we just calculated it is 1400 so this becomes 8400 so at the end of two years the person who had borrowed the 7000 rupees needs to pay back 8400 in place of 7000 so how much is the cost of borrowing that is the interest it's 1400 Another example, let's say the principal is 10,000, the rate of interest is 5% per annum and the time is given 3 years and 4 months. So like I've said before, if it's not given in years, what you need to do is, you need to change the whole thing into years. That is, 3 years means 3 into 12 months. What I'm doing is, I'm trying to make this year and months similar. So, 3 years means 3 into 12. I'm converting this number of years into months. Plus, 4 months is already given as 4 months. So, you can keep it like this. So, this is 36 plus 4. That is, 40. So now our time period, it becomes 40 months. So I'll be using 40 months without changing it before I. I'll be changing it in the formula itself. So the formula is simple interest is PRT by 100. So the principal I've given is 10,000. So we take the exact amount. The rate of interest is 5% into now comes the time. So if I am writing 40 here, it's not in years, it's in months. So in order to change this one into years, what we do is we simply divide it by 12. That's 12 months. So 40 divided by 12, it will give you the number of years. So we can cancel out the zero. So this becomes 500 into 20 divided by 6. So again, so 5000 divided by 3. So this is the interest or the cost of borrowing on the sum of 10,000 at an interest rate of 5% for 3 years.
So how to calculate the amount? Amount is principal plus interest. The principal was 10,000 and the interest you got is 5,000 divided by 3. Okay, thank you.